Hello and welcome to The Developer Show. This is your TLDR. We recently announced the release of TensorFlow Serving, which is a high-performance open-source serving system for machine learning models, designed for production environments, and optimized for TensorFlow. It's ideal for running multiple models at large scale that change over time based on real-world data. The post has more details and the GitHub link. Babyfirst increased their installs by 50% across their portfolio of apps with Google Play by implementing store listing experiments and localizing the store listing into 10 languages. Find out how in the latest Android developer story. It's time for part four of Lawrence Maroney's series on Google Sign-In. In the latest post, learn how you can have your users sign in via your app to authorize your service for access to Google APIs, such as Google Drive. AutoTrack for Analytics.js attempts to leverage as many Google Analytics features as possible while requiring minimal manual implementation. To start using more of Google Analytics today, check out the post. The Google Cloud Vision API is now in beta, and anyone can submit their images to understand the contents, from detecting everyday objects to reading text within the image or even identifying product logos. You can now diagnose your problems in your production apps faster with updates to the Google Cloud Debugger. It lets you inspect the state of an application at any code location without stopping or slowing it down. And now it has an enhanced UI, expanded language support, and debugging from more places. Custom Machine Types for Google Compute Engine lets you create virtual machines with vCPU and memory configurations that are perfect for your workloads. While in beta, we've seen customers save an average of 19% and as much as 50% on top of our already market-leading prices. It's now in general availability, so check it out. Firecasts is a new hands-on YouTube series for Firebase developers. Tune in each week to learn how to build real-time apps on Android, iOS, and the web with Firebase. Actually, I know for a fact that David East is in Studio B warming up for his next Firebase screencast. Shall we drop in on him? Yeah, I think we should. What you doing? Uh, just your traditional warm-ups, you know, for, before screencasts. Will you show me one? Extraordinary apps. Extraordinary apps. The Firebase database is schemaless. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. The Firebase database is schemaless. Okay, I stopped by because we're on the Dev Show. See, Dev Show. Hi, Dev Show. Thank you. And uh, I was hoping that you could tell us a little bit about your series and a little bit about Firebase. Let's start there. What is Firebase for those few people out there that don't already know? Yeah, well, if you like to build apps, it's really cool because you build all this great client-side code, but then you like, oh, I have to you know, build a server to mm. do anything uh, really interesting. There's all that like infrastructure exactly. spin-up that you have to do right. before you actually get to your idea. Right, before you actually get to the fun part. Uh -huh. And so Firebase completely eliminates that because it's pretty much a like, back-end as a service. So you can just plug into Firebase. Firebase servers. And then in addition to you know, getting you know, scalable infrastructure, you also get like sweet real-time data. So every time you update one, of data in an app, it like automatically pushes that data down to every other app, so they just instantly refresh That's it. That's totally awesome. Yeah. And I think one of the things that I love about Firebase the most is so easy to get started. Oh, yeah. And that's what you're doing with these screencasts, is you're showing, like, here's a few steps, and you're started. Pretty much, yeah. Like when we're showing it on each and every platform. So mm -hmm. whether you're, you know, an Android, iOS, or web developer, we are gonna come out with screencasts for each and every one of those, you know, topics like how to get started, how to do this and that, and then showing everyone like, you know, kind of combining these patterns together and seeing like if you have, you know, one app that has to be on several platforms, like hey, it's pretty easy when you use Firebase. So you've got two episodes on Android already. Right. Uh, what's coming out in the future? Yeah, I have a uh, third episode on Android next week, and mm -hmm. then uh, after that we're going to be doing some stuff in the web land so if you're an angular fan we have some stuff on that and then uh, also we're going to cover ios afterwards so awesome so fully cross-platform oh yeah using firebase that's what we do that's very cool and it comes out every tuesday every tuesday every tuesday check it out follow the link below subscribe all those things enjoy your warm-ups all right thank you i'll get out of your hair you're welcome to join and me anytime the firebase database is schemeless that does have a good ring to it doesn't it if you'd like to have me sneak up on somebody else as they're preparing for a DevBite or a screencast, use the hashtag AskDevShow. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel for this show every week. I'm Timothy Jordan, and I'll see you next time.